only way you can win is a submission. Yep. Mm. What's the most likely submission that you're going to catch him in? And part two of the question, what's the most likely submission that you think he's going to attack with? I think Charlie's going to attack head and arm triangle, head and arm, uh, yeah, head and arm, uh, all day. From heavy that, top position. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to look to take me down, pass guard, mount position, head and arm. That's, that's his bread and butter. I can see him trying not to smile right now. Oh, no, I, <laughs> no, I agree, yeah. You know, we're, we're, I've seen him do it to multiple people. Of course, I've got to watch the guillotines. If he takes me down as I'm scrambling back to my feet, we saw, we saw him nearly take Shogun's head off with that, so I've got to watch that. For me, I, I, I'm going to be looking for knee bars and a few foot uh, toe holds in there. Uh, you know, heel holds, whatnot. I've been working on my leg locks a lot. So what do you think? What is he going to attack <laughs> you with, subs-wise, and what do you think will be most open? Well, I had never considered leg locks till he just said that. So now I'm, now I'm wondering if, he, if he's... I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know in, what I'm doing. In, in MMA, I know he's head and arm? <laughs> and, and he is right about me. I do like to get to the head position, control an arm, and try some stuff there, or even from the front and front head locks and slow a guy down. But, I, man, there's a lot of unknowns. I don't know. I mean, yeah. it's... At the end of the day, we're both coming to win, period. No matter how yeah. friendly this seems, it's like he said earlier, it doesn't matter if it's ping pong, we want to beat each other. Sure. And, uh, you know, people always see us and we've got this friend relationship now, but anyone that knows that's had a friend, you want to beat your friend. If you've got a brother, you want to beat your brother, even yeah. if it's in the yeah. living room. So I can tell you that as far as the unknowns, look, we're going to go work really hard for 15 minutes. I, I can speak for both of us. We will be in shape for 15 minutes. And what happens after that, man, I don't know. And a match can only win by, be won by submission. There's our friend Ray Mysterio. I've known him for years. He is still, I think, as good as he ever was. He is in better shape. He takes better care of himself. And he has a massive, massive challenge of winning him in the form of the Olympic gold medalist. Both men have won multiple world titles in pro wrestling. Ray Mysterio, the master of the 619, of course, from San Diego, to take on Kurt Angle, the pride. Of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There you go, fellas. Rampage, this is your your your, your cue. Oh yes, so this is my favorite part of fighting. I love I love <laughs> I love this part of, of watching a fight. The ring girls. The ring girls, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is MMA grappling. Three five-minute rounds. The fight can only be won. The match can only be won by submission. There are no judges. It makes it very unique. And it's a very highly technical art form, is MMA grappling, Sean. We're going to see a real contrast in styles now. Chael Sonnen, as I mentioned on the top of the broadcast, very accomplished in wrestling. In folk style, what he did at the University of Oregon when he was an NCAA Division I All-American. And in Greco-Roman wrestling, which he did at the international level for the United States. He's going to use that Greco-Roman base, I believe, to try to dominate Michael Bisping. Getting him to the ground, Quinton, with a lot of body locks, and then holding a lot of Greco position on the ground. Chael Sonnen wants to try to find his submission, first by hitting a takedown on the inside, I believe, and then just being really heavy with the top game. And, oh, by the way, he does have that 19-pound weight advantage. Oh, yes, and um, that's going to that's gonna come in good from that weight advantage. But I don't see Bisping being able to take Sonnen down. He won't be able to take Chael down at all. Go down to Justin Roberts. Ladies and gentlemen, this match on this is a grappling match scheduled for three five-minute rounds, and the only way to win is by submission. <laughs> Game face on for Chael Sonnen. Hey, they laughed yesterday. They're all, you know, all all having a good time. That's uh, I think it's a facade. <laughs> I think they have respect for each other, and yeah. they should. Yeah. But neither one will lose this fight. Right. There's no way. Too much ego at stake. These guys both consider themselves like great grapplers. You know, I've trained with Bisbing uh, for like, I think three years or so. And Bisbing is pretty good on the ground. But Chael Sonnen is a wrestler. He's a great wrestler. I think that uh, Chael won't be able to take Bisbing down easily, but Bisbing will not have the advantage of being able to take Chael Sonnen down whenever he wants. And Quinn, as we talked about the contrast in styles and Sonnen's wrestling background, for Bisping, he started in traditional Japanese jiu-jitsu. He's a black belt in that discipline. He then moved on in the Carlson Gracie lineage to Brazilian jiu-jitsu, where he holds the rank of brown belt. Michael Bisping, when I spoke to him, was really candid. He said, 
I don't think I'm going to be able to take Sonnen down. I think he's going to take me down and hold top position. I have to win this grappling match by working my jiu-jitsu, especially looking for arm bars. He said, I know historically, look no further than Anderson Silva in the UFC. Sonnen can be open to the triangles. This being said, I don't think I have the body type to catch him in a triangle, but what I do have is the ability from my back to catch him in an arm bar. Yeah, that makes sense. Hope our fans of the UK are enjoying this tonight on uh, yourfight.tv. Certainly Michael Bisping, popular all over the world, but especially in the United Kingdom. Michael Bisping, of course, coming off of the 28th win of his pro MMA career and arguably, or maybe not even arguably, the biggest. Last month, UFC Fight Night in London defeated Anderson Silva by way of unanimous decision over the full five rounds in 25 minutes of quality, although somewhat controversial win for Michael Bisping. He clearly does not want to follow that now with a loss and submission grappling. No judge to be fired. Chael Sonnen, now a commentator, back to competitive action, this time in submission grappling. Again, he wants to hit a quick takedown, stay heavy with his top game. He's going to attack with the head and arm choke and also with the guillotine. For Bisping, who is now being talked about as a title contender for the UFC's 185-pound belt, keep defending those takedowns. Frustrate Sonnet, make him waste energy. Don't get stuck on the bottom. If you're there, move posture angle, stay active, and keep working for submission off of his back. You've never seen him in a grappling of this uh, nature. In the blue corner, fighting out of West Lynn, Oregon, weighing 231 pounds, with a record of 29 wins and 14 defeats, he is the bad guy. Chad He is the American gangster. Just ask the Nevada State Athletic <laughs> Commission. <laughs> From Manchester, England, weighing 212 pounds with an MMA record of 28 wins and only 7 defeats. He is Michael the Count Bisping. He's from the fighting city of Manchester, England. <laughs> Home of Ricky Hatton. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. And the late British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. Trying to cover all genres here, in all fairness. <laughs> and as a former longtime soccer commentator, I'd be remiss if I didn't say my Manchester United. Half of the internet now hates me, you guys. <laughs> it's like saying you're a Yankees fan or a Cowboys fan. I'm an Oklahoma Sooners fan. We, are, we have a lot of haters. <laughs> <laughs> People hate the best, the champions, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what it is. All right, we got a handshake. That's nice. Now, I'm, 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 I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to watch how slippery this mat is. I'm going to see how Chelsea can do his wrestling. This canvas is kind of slippery. I want to see that. I don't believe Sonnen is going to shoot from distance again. I think he's going to look to come inside, clinch, get a body lock, and then head either a throw or a trip. Already you see the level changes from Chael Sonnen. Sonnen weighed at 231. Visiting 212. So it'll be interesting to see the weight differential, how it affects either man as the fight progresses. Well, you know, Jiu-Jitsu was designed for the smaller guy to be able to defend himself against a bigger guy. But wrestling is different when you, when you start on your feet. The bigger guy has the advantage. And especially if the bigger guy gets on top of you and wants to ride. Ride, Sally, ride. Yes, that's, that's very annoying. It sucks. This thing actually came to the inside there. Now moving back to the outside, but slowly, methodically, you see Chael Sonnen trying to cut off the ring. He's literally trying to trap Michael Bisping into the corner. I just hope, I just hope Chael Sonnen picked Bisping up to slam him on his head. <laughs> you do not like your former training partner. I do not like him at all anymore. I used to, I used to love him like a brother. You see... The Michael Bisping much more straight up and down in his posture. And with that wrestling background, JR, you can see how Chael Sonnen against the level changes. Look a at the arc of his back and his head. Right, absolutely. And I talked to Michael yesterday. The count, we have a great friend, Ant Evans, works for the USC. Uh, we were talking about Ant and other things, and he said, I, I don't have that much experience in, in wrestling. I started MMA at like age eight, you know, training as a kid. But... We don't, there's not a lot of amateur wrestling in, in the UK. My wife comes from England. It's just not a wrestling country. No, it's not. Uh, Bisping has good wrestling defense, 
His wrestling offense is, is not great, but his wrestling defense is pretty good. I give him that. But I think Chael Sonnen should get a little bit more aggressive with his wrestling. But, you know, I've never seen Chael look this heavy before. You know, normally he fights at, what, 85, 205? 185 or 205, you know, so. Right. And really made his name as a middleweight of 185 pounds. Yeah. Chael will be uh, reinstated hopefully soon after a, a lengthy suspension. I've always been a Chael Sonnen fan, always will be. I like him personally. But I've got to know uh, Michael Bisping while we were here. A very personable man, and I think both these guys, quite frankly, are as good of USC bro MMA broadcasters for USC or any other MMA organization, color guys, as I've, as on the air. And when you hear them commentating Shell Sonnen for World Series of Fighting, you see how smart they are. They understand fighting from a very technical aspect. That's why I think truly they rank as among the greatest middleweights in the history of not just the UFC, but all of MMA. Very good communicators. I think Chael Sonnen, I think he can go into pro wrestling as well with, with his mouth and his interviews and stuff he does. I think you're right. I think he'd make a great pro wrestler. 150 remaining, round number one. And Bisping keeping this standing, exactly what we talked about in our keys to victory. Well, no one's going to win if they keep up like this. It'll be a kissing your sister draw. <laughs> Nothing exotic about that. Because Sonnen is not finding success, moving to the inside, finding the body lock, perhaps he will look to shoot a single leg from distance. I am surprised we haven't had a takedown attempt thus far. I'm telling you, that canvas is very slippery. And that's probably why we haven't seen a, a great shot from, from Chell. That canvas is slippery. See the overhook on the right side held by Chell Sonnen, and that's a nice turn to the body lock now for Bisping. Wonder how the, the conditioning's gonna evolve in this match. Bisping has been in, hey, he was he's been in, 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 in fight shape. As you said, he, he beat Anderson Silva not that long ago. And Vachel hasn't had a hasn't had anything like this in a, in a while. He didn't beat Anderson Silva. The, the the judges won that fight. Okay. Michael Bisping got lucky. He's been lucky a few times in his career. This is smart now for Bisping. Trying to kick out the back leg, and you see driving with his head. That's legal in submission grappling. That's legal in MMA. It's not a headbutt. It's just leading with your head. Quentin, I am sure that when you were a wrestler in high school in Memphis, your coach taught you that. Oh, yeah. Pivot in with the head. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's a good good move. It's a leverage thing. Yeah. Absolutely. And look at Bisping with the head, putting it into the jawline, trying to get under the chin now of Chael Sonnen. And, Chael, and Chael trying to remove that. Right. And, that, and that's legal in MMA as well. You just don't see it a lot because people can punch you. Closing seconds, round number one. There's the separation. This thing's looking a little tired. This thing's looking a little winded to me. He's trying to hide it, but he'll keep going if, even if he's winded. But he's looking a little winded. Notice those stools in the ring, both men standing up. They're, they're, uh, they're channeling the, the great George Foreman. They'll sit down to stand up during the right between rounds. <laughs> Got a little look at it. Just look at the head movement of Chael Sonnen. Trying to control the wrist, trying to suck in the arm, lower his head for a level change. This thing, though, being very elusive, using his right hand as a lever, keeping Sonnen at bay. And there's what I just talked about. This thing. Pushing in his head, trying to get in the jawline, under the chin, and holding the body lock on Chael Sonnen. George Foreman, when he would go into the corner with Archie Moore, two of my all-time favorites in boxing, I always thought, how cool was that? George Foreman would just put his arms splayed out over the top ropes. I don't need a stool. Nah. I no sticking stool. No sticking badges. Round number two, and we'll see if Chael Sonnen now tries to open things up. I got. I got to believe there's a takedown in this round, fellas. I, I hope. I hope it is a takedown. Then we'll, then we'll see a, a whole different strategy than utilized and initiated. And Jr. I'm just waiting for Sonnen now, finding no success with a takedown from the clinch yeah, to shoot a single just yeah. like that, yeah, who shooting was, a double leg. Who, who was Bisbee trying to talk to? And Bisbee thinks the referee's going to break it in the ropes. He's not. Look at the right hand, the fist into the nose of Chael Sonnen. Uh. Not a punch, but sending a message with the right hand. That was a good shot, too, I think. I think that was a good shot. I like that. Quinn, are you surprised that he shot a double rather than a single? I was looking for the single. Well, no, Taylor has, has good doubles, so I'm not surprised, actually. All-American at the uh, University of Oregon. A fighting duck. 
These two, of course, fought in MMA in the UFC January 2012. Sonnen winning by unanimous decision. And a lot of that fight was Chael Sonnen being able to control on the ground with his heavy top game, something that he has not been able to do thus far in this submission grappling match. Oh, I didn't know these two fought each other. Uh, I need to watch him in May more. <laughs> well, this is this is this is this is hard for me to imagine. I thought that Chael Sonnen would be more aggressive. I was hoping he would be more aggressive because I'm rooting for him. I did as well. I really thought he would try to come in. As you see, Bisping now playing to the crowd. Yeah. Plus, I got a lot of money on Chael Sonnen, so I was. <laughs> Bisping actually quit, and if you saw that, could have locked up a standing guillotine. He had the position and never sunk it on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He probably didn't believe in it. It's probably not his thing. For someone who's, someone who's trained for regular MMA, how much does it take you out of your game to get into a grappling contest? Because Chael's had time to think about this and prepare. Bisping hasn't had that much time. And right. there are so many unusual positions you see where instinctively it's, oh, throw the elbow, throw the knee. And they have to almost think in a different direction about what they want to do. This is a position here where Bisping would be stomping the foot or perhaps throwing a knee to the body. Yeah, but in MMA, when you train for a fight, say you train for Anderson Silva, Anderson Silva is good on the ground as well, so you have to do wrestling, jiu-jitsu, like grappling like this. So you'll have times where the, the trainer will, will be on it like this, you know, just wrestling and, and doing jiu-jitsu, no, no knees, no punches, or anything like that. So, you know, he just had a training camp, so he's, this thing should be, like, it shouldn't be a factor to him that he had. Bisping looking for the outside trip, and again, you see leading with his forehead. Tried to step behind for the waist since did Michael Bisping. Second time he's tried that in this fight has Bisping. It is a game of human chess, as my uh, broadcasting hero Gordon Sully, the late Gordon Sully, would say. It is a game of human chess, <laughs> and you're seeing it very prominently here in this uh, unique uh, combat sport. JR, I'll turn fanboy for a moment. I have two wrestling announcers who are my heroes. I'm sitting next to one, the other the late great Gordon Soley. So at some point, I owe it to myself to work in Pier 6 Brawl. You have to. Uh -uh. No Pier 6 Brawl right here. In fact, no legitimate submission attempt from either man. 90 seconds remaining round number two. And no judges. And the match can only end by submission, I'm ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be a judge. I'm giving it to uh, Chelsea on it so far. I think he's winning. But you are biased. You're biased. Come on, admit it. Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm keeping it real. Yes, I'm very biased. Keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for the outside trip now is Bisping, and it's Bisping actually in round two trying to open up the attack a little bit. Trying to look for the body lock. Now sucking in the arm of Chael Sonnen. I can't believe that we are almost in the second round, the second five-minute round, and no one has successfully completed a takedown. I really thought in the opening 30 seconds, Sonnen would come in, hit a body lock, and then hit a throw and start to work from the top. <laughs> Bisping is clowning him. That's what I'm saying. This guy needs to change his, uh, his nickname from the count to you know what. He's clowning him. You already said it once, Quentin. Yeah. He, that's, <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we call him. We don't, because you know, England is different. You use, that, you use that word freely in England. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, that is Quentin Rampage. <laughs> if you want to call him, he's at area code 901 555. Oh, there's this way oh, oh. rolling for a heel hook. Closing seconds. Audacious from Michael Bisping. He's not going to find it here. I hope the referee starts him on the ground in the beginning of the, the last round. I hope they start on the ground. That's a good suggestion for referee Al Guiney. Yeah. So we are in, we are in our getting ready to go into our last round, a five-minute round. Remember, as we be reiterated, because a lot of folks I'm, I'm sure are seeing this sort of combat for the first time. There's some visible marks on the body of Chael Sonnen. No, uh, no judges. Only one way to win is submission. So that's the double leg attempt in from Chael Sonnen. He's not shot a single. That's his only shot from distance for a takedown, and it's on the double leg. There you see Bisping playing to the crowd. That's where Quentin, I thought he could have locked up a guillotine. Yeah, he could have. He could have. Yeah, you're right. Bisping is a very colorful character. Both these guys have got great personalities. Nice takedown. Yeah, that, that was a nice scissor takedown. 
This is takedown looking for a Rio Shonen versus Anderson Silva flying heel hook. Shonen found it then. Bisping could not find it there. It looked like Bisping was trying to suck his toes more than do a little leg lock, though, to be honest. Third and final round. Virtually all stand up thus far. Put him down, ref. Put him down on the ground, ref. Start on knees, slap hands, and let's go. Yeah. So we'll see if there is a heightened sense of urgency by either of these athletes, knowing that this is it. This is the last round. That was actually a face slap there by Michael Bisping on the inside, not technically allowed. I'll tell you how I would, I would book these uh, grappling matches. If there's a draw, you don't get paid. Right. <laughs> and the winner makes more than the loser. Right, yeah, that's how you do it. So now you're going to fight or not? You're going to wrestle or not? Oh, that's a good idea. You should promote your own shows here. Yeah, I'll oh, tell you. I'd, like, I'd like to keep my money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not smart enough, Rampage. But I got ideas, you know. Yeah. Sunderland with the extra 19 pounds, we thought it would work for him because we felt that he would likely be able to hold top position. But as we're all stand up into the third round, Sunderland not an active MMA fighter, and Bisping obviously is coming off of that win in the UFC last month versus Anderson Silva. It almost seems to the point now where that extra 19 pounds, Sun and Wayne 231, might actually start to work against him. There's Bisping looking for a standing can opener. Yeah, and Bisping, he's slimy by now. You know, I've trained him for years, and, and sometimes he don't have the best hygiene, you know, so he's, he's very slimy. You sit right off of him, and, and, and the smell can get to you as well <laughs> in there. You going to give your... Disclaimer again, JR. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Everybody knows that's right. <laughs> that was JR. Yeah. That was, JR used to train with Bisping. <laughs> <laughs> now we're a shot for a double. We just saw the shot for the single. Looking oh. for the scoop to the body lock now from Bisping. And it's Bisping opening up. Bisping was closer to, on that body lock takedown than maybe we envisioned because Sonnen was able to balance on one foot. You know, I, Chill, I think, has uh, enjoyed the catering at ESPN and their coverage of uh, USC. He's, he looks, I thought that the weight, if he, if he could get a takedown, that his weight advantage would really play to Chael's favor. Thus far, that takedown is something that we've just discussed. Yeah, right now, they're just playing mercy. They're not doing no takedowns. In grappling, where there's no striking at all, even high, high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belts have a tough time taking on NCAA Division I All-Americans from wrestling. Taking them down is very, very difficult, especially in an open match situation. Okay, see, this one, I'm, this one, I'm like, I'm a guy uh, of common sense, you know. So I don't claim to be the most educated person, but common sense. If I'm going to be really good at Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I'm going to learn how to take people down so I can do my jiu-jitsu. I'm sorry. And that's, and that's the thing that we didn't see with uh, Frank Mir the other day. He's really good at jiu-jitsu, but he couldn't get his opponent down to the ground. And that's the same thing here. Around Bisping's eyes, you can still see the DNA, the remnants of Anderson Silva, the spider. Left a couple of marks on his face after that brutal fight they had in, 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 in England. Yeah, because Bisping faced like ground meat after that fight, and, and, and Anderson Silva face didn't have a scratch on it. And Bisping actually got knocked out in that fight, and it was just so happened to be at the end of the round, so that fight should have been over. I don't see how he got that fight. Those two monsters at ringside, those red shirts are uh, Chael's coaches. I said if you hit the ring nobody's gonna stop you. <laughs> <laughs> two three hundred pounders sitting out there his coaches 90 seconds remaining in this grappling match and again almost all stand up no judges one more time to let you know if it does go off 15 minutes it's an automatic draw no points no judges no scorecards Submission or technical submission, that is it. There's the shot. Yeah. That was a, that was a crappy shot, but he, at least he went for it. And the turnbuckles helped Chael uh, a little bit there, maintain his verticality. Come on, Chael, do something. Do something for me, Chael. It's certainly reminiscent of the just-concluded NCAA uh, uh, wrestling championships on, on some things. Some, 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 oh, there's a takedown. Son has got a, but I got a takedown. Well, looking for a scissor takedown again. It was Bisping Jr. who actually instituted that takedown with the scissor why takedown. Is he, yeah, why is he mimicking elbows? Why is he doing that? That's why, that's why people don't like this guy. This is straight, straight up with grappling. He's mimicking Just elbows. Just instinctive, maybe instinctive. No, it's not instinctive. He's, he's clowning. 
and that's, that's very disrespectful. So the first sequence with top position for Chael Son, an open guard now for Bisping. We'll see if he tries to throw up a triangle, but no risk control. And there's not a submission in the next 20 seconds. We are at a draw. Now looking for the triangle, you see walking up his guard, sitting go. back for the there heel you. hook, that was Chael Sonnen. And Bisping is too slimy. Go, go, grab it again. I got $10,000 on you. I mean, uh, I mean, get that, get that, <laughs> get that leg. Final seconds. That was actually a kick, and there's the bell. Right. Nah. They, they, they went the 15-minute time limit. Again, no judges, no submissions. We have a time limit draw. JR, very, very few submission attempts. Right. Almost none until the final 30 seconds of the fight, and no serious submission attempts. Yeah. Sonnen's body's got some uh, marks on it, showing that there was some strong physicality. So again, looking for yeah, a scissor was, yeah, sweep that, that takedown. Was a, that, was, that was a good call there, Sean. That was a great uh, takedown by Bisping. That son and there you go. That's what bothers elbows. you, Quinn. That, that bothers me, because this is, this is the martial arts. You know, you're supposed to have honor and respect in martial arts. Why is he mimicking elbows? Sonnen looking for the heel hook. Couldn't find it. You see the kick right at the bell. Back to the can opener position, and there's the kick. And both guys can always say, gentlemen, I just ran out of time. Yeah. One more round, I'd have had him. Yeah. No submissions. This bout is a draw. Well, in pro wrestling, somebody would say, five more minutes. All right, I'm going to talk to you both first. Michael. Obviously, uh, you didn't want to see the same go away. You you actually apologized. We're right here. You actually apologized to the fans a couple times. All right, talk about the match. Obviously, you guys are both high-level grapplers. This often happens in a grappling match. It's hard to see somebody submitted. Just talk about how it was being in there with Sonnen. Yeah, first of all, thanks you all for being here. And listen, I know you want more action. You've had guys punching each other in the face here tonight. So a grappling match, by nature, isn't as exciting. Of course, when you're against someone at the level of J uh, Chael Sonnen, he's a fantastic wrestler, you know. I, uh, so I had to be careful. I had to play it cagey. Chael got on top of me for an, a period of time. It could have been bad news for me. So, uh, as I say, I apologize for the lack of action. I enjoyed myself. It's going to be a great night of fights. Thank you, Chael. You're a part of a, uh, come on back, you're a part of a very historic show here on yourshow.tv. How's the experience been? And what do you think, is, how everybody's going to receive this great new network and what we're doing here with your fight? Yeah, well, if you like combat sports, there's something for everybody on here. Of course, we've got the great Roy Jones Jr. We've got the original bad guy, Charles Sonnen. We've got Ray Mysterio. You know, the, the names go on and on and on. Of course, some little guy from England as well. I want to thank the guys at your show. They've treated me fantastically. Thank you very much. And as I say, hope you have a great night of fights. Of course, a lot coming up for him in the UFC. Make some noise out there for Michael, the Count Bisping. I'm standing here with Chael Sonnen. Chael, obviously this is not how you wanted it to go. You would have loved to give the fans a submission, give them that tap out that they wanted. Talk about the match, how it went, and how tough it was being in there with Bisping. Oh, I loved it. You know, Bisping has a different style. He's excellent with underhooks. He pushed me into the ropes. I had a hard time. A few times I thought he was going to take me down and we're going to play some grappling. He didn't commit to the shot. I had the same thing. We both had a, a little bit of a difficult time getting our footing and getting our offense going. But uh, look, man, he's the number one contender. It's the bottom line. We all need to get behind him, make sure he gets a world title fight. No doubt about it. Now, let's switch gears just for a second to MMA. Now, your suspension's up very, very soon, just a few months, if I'm correct. Uh, what's going on here? I think maybe you might get the itch again. Can we see you back in a cage, in a ring, back in mixed martial arts competition? I won't be fighting again. I, I, I love to grapple and compete, but as far as uh, competitive mixed martial arts, I have some great memories, but my race has ran. The Republic of Sun and on your show TV. Awesome new show. Talk about the network, how you've been treated, and what you think the future is for your show. Well, it's incredible. It's it's a global wide audience. You know, people are tuning in all over. They're they're, they're setting pay per view records. Uh, setting internet records, the, the media everywhere. You saw it cover at Times Magazine, FoxNews.com, everybody covered them. It's a really big deal. It's good to be part of it. Absolutely. Give it up, guys, for Chill Sonny. Certainly an interesting experience. My first grappling match. A fan of both men, Sonny and Bisbee, quite frankly.
Ladies and gentlemen, earlier tonight we had a, a very compelling MMA matchup involving Jacob Colby Ortiz. He took on Brendan T Tiny Shorts Tierney. Yes, I said Tiny Shorts Tierney. And here's how that went down. Tonight, make some noise, Phoenix. In this contest,